Welcome to the next round of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Generation Next Tournament here on the Homeboys channel. And today we're going to be seeing Zane Truesdale going up against Dubell. Now Zane's Truesdale aims to have a very fusion heavy focused deck with an emphasis on OTKing the opponent if possible and the side deck makes some very much needed changes to uh, his anime deck up here. One of the cards that I would predict that would really help him in this situation could be Trap Jammer actually going up against Ubel's deck because it could potentially negate some of the cards that allow uh, Ubel to evolve. Another card that could potentially really help him out would have to be the Cyber Dragon Infinity because there's not a lot of negation built into this. It's more destruction and running things over, but destruction doesn't work and Ubel obviously has the reflectability. So he's honestly kind of limited in this. I will say the one thing that he might have going for him is the ability to destroy multiple cards. Uh, perhaps he can destroy the final form of Ubel and then potentially skate to an easy victory from that point on. But it's definitely going to be an uphill battle. However, First, we have to look at his opponents. So Ubel is definitely one of the hardest decks in this tournament uh, that you could possibly face. And part of the big reason for that is definitely cards like Mystic Tomato, Regenerating Rose, and Cherry and Motto that just help get to it really, really quickly. Even uh, the card Zero Hole can really set you back just enough to where you're not capable of doing anything. And really, Zero Sprite and Fiend Rose really put you in a position where it, at the very least, seems like it's impossible to win. So the main deck by itself is some of the most threatening stuff you can face up against. The only thing left to say is, let the duel begin. For the first round between Zane and Ubel, Ubel is going to be taking the first turn and already off to a beautiful start with the Pot of Greed and the Foolish Burial will allow her to throw away the Samsara Lotus which can revive itself during the end phase. Three set cards, one of which being a monster, before giving it up to Zane. And Zane's going to open up with Cyber Phoenix seeing as how those two cards likely could be cards that destroy Zane's monsters, Cyber Phoenix is there to ensure that that's not possible so long as they are targeting guards at the very least. And it runs over the Mystic Tomato. Now, Tomato is in fact stronger in attack mode, but it wanted to be destroyed so that we could see Ubel hit the field on the second turn of the duel during the opponent's turn, no less. So now it's just a matter of maintaining it and giving it enough tributes, but that's where Samsara Lotus comes in. Uh, but before we get to that point, we're going to see Cherry and Mono get summoned here, and Ubel's going to get equipped with Zero Sprite, which will allow it to attack two times. So first, before any damage gets done to Zane, and Mono's going to run right into the Phoenix for 500 points of damage. That way it can summon two more copies of itself to the field in attack mode, and Ubel swings twice on the Cyber Phoenix for a grand total of 2400 damage. Also, we're going to see Zero Hole activate here, negating the effects of Cyber Phoenix and then destroying it. Now, Zane will get to draw a card, but now he's open to 1400 from the two in Mottos, and already he is at Half-Life, having taken 3800 points of damage in only a single turn. No fusions and no monsters above 800 attack. It's honestly really, really impressive to watch. Now that we're in the end phase, Ubel will be reviving Samsara Lotus so that it can offer itself as tribute to maintain Ubel and keep it on the field. Back over to Zane's turn, he hits his own pot of greed and he got lucky with a mystical space typhoon, destroying the zero sprite. So now Ubel only gets one attack like every other monster. And we're actually going to see a monster reborn get activated here. I will say that would have been really, really nice if they had a way to destroy Ubel and take it, but you know, obviously you can't really do that since it can evolve, but that would have been cool to see. Monster Reborn is gonna be reviving the Cyber Phoenix in attack mode, and it's gonna run over the Cherry and Motto. Um, I, I can't really blame them because I would rather get rid of them and take the beating than just let the Inmatos beat on me for 1400 every turn and kind of just be in this fucked position. At least this way, by clearing them first, you have the potential of being able to sit for a while with no monsters. But first, Ubel's going to be swinging over for 1200 before we get to any of that. And we're going to see the Lotus Loop happen here. 
And for Zane's turn, he's kind of running out of options here, but he does get the Proto Cyber Dragon. So now he has something he can work with. Attack Reflector unit is going to activate, transforming the quote unquote Cyber Dragon into the Cyber Barrier Dragon with 800, which is both stronger than Cherry and Motto, and in attack mode can can and in attack mode can negate one of you Bell's attacks. Speaking of Cherry and Motto, it has now been destroyed by Cyber Phoenix, but that triggered Sinister Seed, which will put a token there, which is actually insignificant in the grand scheme of things because of the Cyber Barrier. So, Yubel is only left with Yubel, uh, another face down card, and a Lotus Loop to cap everything off. And it's kind of a little bit of a stalemate here. Yubel can't be destroyed or at least you wouldn't want it to be destroyed and it can't die to its own sort of uh, maintenance cost and likewise Zane can't accomplish anything either so Yubel's gonna set another card here and now use zero sprite to get around barrier dragon so the first attack will always be negated uh, and it's actually an involuntary effect which really really sucks and the second attack will always go through so that's another 1200 leaving Zane with only 1800 life points left so anything that he could potentially power bond is going to kill him from this point he's gonna lower his life points even further to activate instant fusion leaving him with just 800 below the safety line as they would say in 5ds to summon the panzer dragon and panzer dragon pops to destroy zero sprite instead of destroying you bell very clever fire of doomsday is going to activate here to summon two doomsday tokens to you bell side of the field and back over to her turn she can tribute those tokens to summon the second copy getting over barrier dragon and winning this first round the second round and we are going to be seeing you bell take the first turn once again if it's not pot of greed it's graceful charity so here we go draw three throw away two and <laughs> of course samsara lotus gets thrown away so we have that loop as soon as the bell card hits the field we're also going to see Spell Chronicle. It'll remove five cards from Yubel's deck. Whenever players use a spell card, it gets a counter. And by getting rid of two counters, uh, Yubel can add one of these five cards back. And the strategy that they went for here seems to be getting rid of five cards that they don't want to draw into. So it's really just deck thinning. It doesn't matter if Spell Chronicle gets destroyed or not. They're not cards that Yubel's going to want to see regardless. So three sets and passing it over to Zane. Zane has the Pot of Greed spell card. So at least they're on semi-even terms here. Special summon the Cyber Dragon and equip it with Cyber Roar, giving it 300 attack. In addition to this, when it gets equipped with Cyber Roar, Zane gets to draw an extra card to help him out. And he's going to be cracking the Instant Fusion for a thousand life points to bring out that Panzer Dragon once again. But instead of waiting to use its ability, we're going to see Cyber Dragon Nova hit the field before Xyz changing into Cyber Dragon Infinity with a total of 2700 attack and a potential 3 negates. So Cyber Dragon Infinity is going to be swinging over the Mystic Tomato and negating the Tomato's effect so that Yubel cannot summon herself. And we're also going to see Cyber Dragon Hurt hit the field since Zane hasn't normal summoned yet. Then by using Infinity's ability, it can absorb Hurt's in order to replenish its attack just a little bit. In response, Yubel is going to take this opportunity to activate two Doomsday tokens on the off chance that they do draw Yubel. At the very least, it's two bodies to protect himself a little bit longer, and she only draws a card that she can play face down. Not a single monster to play here, but on the other side of things, Zane doesn't have any cards to play either at the moment. They're both kind of bricking here. There's not a lot of action going on, but we're going to see the rev system finally hit the board. So Cyber Dragon has been revived with his 2100 points of glory. And speaking of which, Cyber Dragon Veer hits the field. So any monster with quote Cyber Dragon end quote in its name is going to be getting a 600, excuse me, 500 attack boost. Cyber Dragon goes up to 2600. Veer itself goes up to 16, strong enough to destroy Doomsday Token, or at least it would be if it wasn't for the Fiend Rose. So the Fiend Rose can equip onto a monster and make it unbeatable in battle. Unfortunately, Cyber Dragon Infinity has a negate for that, but unfortunately for Zane, Yubel has a negate for that with zero hole negating and destroying, but unfortunately for them, Zane has Trap Jammer, which will be negating the zero hole, allowing Infinity to negate the Fiend Rose, allowing Beer to destroy the Doomsday Token, and 
Since Hertz was detached as the material and sent to the graveyard, Hertz will be searching a Cyber Dragon. But in response, Zero Sprite will be activating, and it actually doesn't accomplish anything. So I guess they just want to clear the field? I'm not really sure. But Zane's going to be attacking for lots of damage, leaving Yubel with only 2,900. And two tokens will appear on Yubel's side of the field as part of the effect of Grinder Golem summoning itself to Zane's side. Then, by sacrificing those two tokens, Yubel can finally be normal summon, swing over the Grinder Golem, and deal Zane 3,000 points of damage. We would see the Lotus Loop here, but Infinity can negate that, and we're actually going to see something cool play out here. It's the end phase now, so Yubel has to sacrifice something, and with nothing to sacrifice, it actually dies, meaning that Yubel's field is wide open, and with a plethora of monsters, Zane is gonna stunt, <laughs> sacrificing the Grinder Golem for Cyber Dragon and Monster Reborning Yubel itself, then absorbing it with Cyber Dragon Infinity on some anime BS. Zane wins the second half. We have approached the final round between Zane and Yubel, and surprise, surprise, Yubel taking the first turn again and opening up with the Pot of Greed. Are you serious? Setting just a monster and Zane also opening up with the pot of greed. This is, I, I just don't have words for this situation anymore. Cyber Dragon Dry is gonna be normal summoned here and its effect will be changed to the ability of Cyber Dragon Veer, which can summon itself when Cyber Dragon hits the field. Hint, hint, Dry will be changing its name when he's on the field or in the graveyard. Now they can both be affected by Dry's ability to change their level to five, allowing them to overlay into the Cyber Dragon Nova, then once more into the Cyber Dragon Infinity with 2700 and a really scary three cards in Zane's back row as Infinity runs over who else but the Samsara Lotus. Yubel has been getting that into the graveyard by any means necessary. Now, two grinder tokens appear in order to summon the grinder golem, and two monsters on Zane's field will get sacrificed for the lava golem. So there goes Nova and Infinity and Grinder Golem. Uh honestly, really, really impressive there. We're gonna see Graceful Charity get popped here, throwing away Yubel and Cherry and Motto. Uh you would have thought that maybe they would have kept the Yubel card because it could be tribute summoned in the future, but I guess one of the tokens is gonna die anyways, so I don't know. Uh, we're gonna see Yubel set three face downs of her own before passing it over, and Lava Golem, excuse me, is gonna do a thousand points of damage at the start of every one of Zane's turns, and we're gonna see Limit Reverse revive Yubel. When Limit Reverse dies, so does Yubel. If Yubel goes into defense mode, it dies, so there's a lot of ways to evolve it now. We're gonna see Cyber Kieran actually get normal summoned here. Very interesting play. Golem is going to attempt to run over the token for 3,000 damage, but we're going to see Zero Hole get activated, and we're going to see Zane respond with Trap Jammer once again. I called it, I called it, I called it. The battle goes through, though, so Zane keeps the Lava Golem on the field, which is honestly a really interesting call when you really think about it. The risk of leaving a 3,000 attack beast in on Yubel, and let alone a beast that does a thousand to yourself. But nevertheless, Yubel's down to 5,000 life points, and Zane activates Call of the Haunted. I see why the risk was worth it. So Call of the Haunted will bring back Cyber Dragon Infinity, allowing it to attack with 2,100 damage over the other token, and during the second main phase, it can use its effect to absorb Yubel, effectively avoiding Yubel's little trap. We're gonna see a set monster and face down card before passing it over to Zane. And Zane's gonna take another thousand for the ability of uh, Lava Golem. Instead of sacrificing it for the Cyber Dragon, he actually tributes Cyber Kirin instead. Uh, I thought it was really interesting that he had it whatsoever and I guess it paid off. But Yubel responds with Torrential Tribute, of course, Zane responds with Cyber Dragon Infinity, negating the Torrential Tribute and losing its only material left. Cyber Dragon runs over the face down, and then we see Cybernetic Revolution sacrifice the Cyber Dragon to turn it into the Cyber End Dragon with 4,000 attack. Lava Golem swings in for game, and Zane has finally defeated Yubel.